Hey guys, so we are getting closer and closer to Sasha and I's favorite holiday, Christmas. Yearly we go down to um, where my mom lives, a little far away here in Connecticut, and we go to a Christmas village and a Christmas parade that opens up the whole village. I believe that the village has now been open for over 70 years. It's not like your average walk-in type of Santa place. It's Santa by the fireplace, Mrs. Claus, the elves, there's real reindeer, there's cocoa at the end. It's a really magical place and I'm so glad that it has stayed open over the years because I went there as a kid, my parents have gone there as a kid. It's just one of those really magical places. So yes, Sasha still believes in the spirit of Christmas and everything that goes with it. So we are gonna go take her and they're so accommodating as well. I fill out a form and sometimes the line to get in there can be anywhere from an hour and a half to two hours just to wait to get into the little village. So they nicely accommodate people with special needs and gives a form to fill out with a diagnosis and sign her up so she can just go in through the back door and she doesn't have to wait in the freezing cold. So I'm really happy that they've started to do that and make it a little bit more handicap accessible and we're gonna take you guys along with us. Guess what? What? We're going to the Christmas village. What? Hey, look at me on the camera. We're what? Going hey, Sasha, over here. What's at the Christmas village? Santa and the reindeer. Are you excited? Yeah. Are you going to sit on Santa's lap? Yeah. What are you going to tell him? I already told him I went out, remember? Oh, <laughs> when we saw him last weekend? Yeah. Well, maybe he needs a refresher, like he didn't, and you wrote your letter? Yep, I already did that. Sasha, what do you think's going on? Your cousin's in the parade? <laughs> Look, she's all bundled up. <laughs> Are you a little excited about this? It's gonna start in just a little bit, okay? I can't wait. Not yet. It's coming, don't worry.
say thank you guys. Oh, Sasha. Oh, say hey. There you go, Sash. Say see you at Christmas Village. Coach Love, it was my birthday. When? October 24th. October 24th, you're 12. Yep. Have you been a good girl? Yep, ever since. Ever since. Ever since. Yep. And what would you like for Christmas? I have to work with Miss Walsh, you know, the movie with Jack Black. With Jack Black? I got to know Jack Black with the J. With the J? Yeah. Okay. I don't know that one, but I'll think about that, okay? He's, he's so cool, Grandma. Is he cool? Yeah. 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 You, yeah. Like, you like him a lot. Uh -huh. He's really cool. Really cool. Yes, yeah. my brother knows him just much. And what else would you like? That's it. Just that. Just a DVD, huh? Just a DVD. Yep, it's on Netflix. <laughs> okay, Netflix. Uh -huh. and, and do you like other movies? Do you like Christmas movies? Oh, yeah. What's but your most favorite Christmas movie? The Grinch. Mom and I saw that. You like The Grinch? Uh huh. It's funny. He's a mean I know. All people say that. He's a mean do you know the song? Yeah. Sing the song. I don't know. I do Do you like dolls? Oh, yeah. I have tons of dolls. You know. Can you find this doll? I like that. Wow, thanks. Mom, look. Come here. Come here. Was he? It's okay, buddy. Some, some do. Look at this. Angels. Look at Sash, see him moving over there? Yeah. What do you say? Where do you guys say? Where do you go? Where do you guys say? You're welcome. See, you're looking all around. Look, there's Mickey up there. Oh. Hey, look, there's a reindeer. Yeah, what do you think? Beautiful. Beautiful in here, isn't it? Uh huh. Thank you. Oh. It's amazing. Yes, it is. It is amazing. It, isn't that Grandma? What yes. do you think? I think so. I'm sure some of them are priceless in here. What is it? Yeah? Are you in the workshop? Yeah, all the elves are over there working, huh? Look at the train. You see the train? What do you think? What do you say? Say thank you so much. Well, I think you might have to wear it because you know what? It's special. So Santa can find you. Do you want me to help you put that on? Okay, you ready? Where are we going next? We're going to go see the reindeer? Yeah. You think so? Yeah. Okay. This way. That's your favorite song. Mm-hmm. Let's go see if he's over here. Oh my gosh, what is that, Sasha? Oh, Rudolph is all by himself. Say hey, Rudolph. How are you doing? Isn't he pretty? Look at Rudolph. He's beautiful. He's beautiful, huh? Rudolph is just hanging out all by himself, huh? Well, he's a special one, that's why. What do you think? Oh, hi, Rudolph. What do you think, Sash? You think he's going to pull this flag? Yeah. Yeah? Uh, let's go see all the rest of the reindeer. You ready? What do you think? It's Comet. Comet. Cupid. Say hey, hey guys. What's up? They're all just hanging out, huh? Oh, what do you think? Oh, Rudolph, he's handsome, huh? Uh, uh. I know. And he has some hay. Some hay on his butt. Can you believe it? Oh, God. He might need a shower, huh? He might be right. Oh my God. I think he has itches. I think you might like our dog. Yeah, like our dogs do sometimes. There he is. He is beautiful, isn't he? He's a magical reindeer. Like any of them. Do you, which one do you think that is? Comet, Cupid, Donner, Blitzen? Which one? So me and Sasha love going to that Christmas village, like I said, probably way too many times in this video, but I've been going there since I've been a kid and just, they do it so well with everything and the real reindeer at the end. And they give you tons of time with Santa too, you know, not just like you're going to the mall or my dog's over there if you're hearing her on the floor. So 
usually when you go to see Santa, it's so busy, you gotta make an appointment or you get like two seconds. And you know, this Santa sits by the fireplace and gives, you know, there's a certain amount of kids per, you know, time in the room and they make it really, you know, intimate and really so the kid can get what they want to talk to Santa about. And there was this little boy, um, of course I didn't videotape it for privacy, but you know, Santa was joking him about he might have been maybe seven or eight, you know, what did you want for Christmas? So he basically asked the little boy, you know, were you on the nice or naughty list? Have you taken care of your brothers and sisters this year? You know, I'm watching over you. He pointed to his books above, you know, are are you on my good my good book or my, or my bad book? And he was joking him about, you know, this place has been open a long time. And he said, Santa goes, I update those books every year. Don't you worry about, it. I know who's on the nice list and the naughty list. And Santa has a pile of toys also by him on both sides and you know they're girl boy toys everything the child can basically take a toy after he sees Santa and the little boy was very hesitant on to take anything from Santa and Santa's like I'd really like to give you something and he's like no 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 it's okay and I cried my mom didn't hear I walked out and she's like why are you crying this little boy all he asked for Santa for this year for Christmas was his older cousin, who I believe was about 13 or 14, he said is dying of cancer in the hospital as we speak. And the little boy ah, broke my heart, broke down, started crying on Santa's lap and said, all I want is for my cousin to get well and for cancer to go away and for her to live another year. And it broke my heart that this little boy didn't want a toy from Santa and he didn't want anything huge. He just wanted his, his, his cousin to get cured for cancer and he was crying and he was sitting there and I walked outside to the mom and I'm like that child has a heart of gold and she said that they've been back and forth to the hospital and the cousin's not doing well and basically might have weeks or months to live with the cancer it's really bad so you know this holiday season I, I truly believe that it's not the gifts it's the little things and being together and just truly appreciating one another and maybe appreciating somebody a little bit more but I believe it's gotten a little blown out of hand with these huge Christmas gifts that everybody wants. I grew up as a kid where way too many Christmas gifts. I don't do that for my kids personally. I'm like, what's one or two small things you want and that's it and we're not gonna be greedy because that's not what Christmas is about. And today that really put my whole perspective and for a new meaning that this, this little boy, that's all he wanted for his cousin to kick cancer's butt and to be here basically another Christmas. So, broke my heart, but that's what the spirit of Christmas is all about.